Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? I've never done a video like this, but in the interest of trying new content, here we are. We're gonna do an get unready with me slash trying new skincare products slash trying new K-beauty skincare products. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a huge K Beauty slash J Beauty skincare haul. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Honestly, full disclosure, it's the same day. And I'm pressed to use my stuff, so you know, let's get into it. If you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, definitely subscribe so you can stick around and give this video a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you want to join my new exclusive community where we can talk all things beauty and fashion and lifestyle, definitely click the link in the description box so you can join in. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I do when I cleanse my skin, so I should say this for those of you who are watching me for the first time or maybe you are not new to my channel, but you haven't seen any of the skincare beauty videos I've done. I am new to skincare. I would say that October was the first time I was consistent in trying to create a skincare routine. So none of the things that I say today or ever is going to be bond. It's going to be the right way or the only way to do things. This is just what I'm discovering and I'm learning and I want to share with you along the way. I wanted to wait until I got it perfected where I figured it out or I transformed my skin in some way, but why? I want to show y'all the journey, the process, so that's what we're doing. But I always start with a oil balm. So we'll be using for the first time, everything that I'm using today, I've never tried before. It's all new. Definitely not recommended to try new things all at once. You want to introduce one thing at a time into your regimen, but I'm a daredevil and I'm an influencer and that's what we do. <laughs> so I'm going in with Hamish All Clean Balm, which is a super popular K-Beauty cleansing balm. It does come with a spatula, but honestly, when I'm doing my skincare, I don't try to run around looking for one. I just use my fingers. My hands are clean. I always wash my hands. It's it's going to be fine. I use a lot of it. I know I see people use like a little bitty size. Not over here. We <laughs> we use a lot. I like feeling the balm in my hands and on my face. So I just first emulsify it onto my face, <laughs> into my hands, and then onto my face. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it does have fragrance, so that's a con for those of you who don't like fragrance. But I don't mind fragrance, especially like rinse off products. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I did not need as much as I thought I did. This really emulsifies into an oil, so you don't need as much. This is one of the first times I'm going to say a little, just go a long way, but oh my God. Hey Siri, put on a timer for one minute. One minute, counting down. I always just do Every cleanse for one minute so let's do that even when I'm not wearing makeup I still use a cleansing balm because I want to get off all my sunscreen and dirt from the day but especially when I'm wearing makeup I want to make sure I break down the makeup so my cleanser doesn't have to work as hard now we rinse one thing about me I'm going to get water everywhere so I rinsed off the cleansing balm and you can see that my face is already on the way to being super clean. Just with the balm, like my face feels nice and soft, but it feels clean, like instant staple. The answer is yes. Now it's time for the second cleanse. This is a second cleanse household. I do a second cleanse or a double cleanse on my hair, and I do it on my skin as well. I'm going in with the Inuik Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam. Looks like that. Let's try it out. And I didn't say at the beginning of this video, some of these products I purchased with my own money. 
and a lot of them I purchased with my own money and some of them were sent to me in PR by Salvana. I will let you know down below which ones I purchased with my own money and which ones I bought. I'm not like it really matters because I'm going to be honest, but I know some people like to know. Brand new one. Ooh. That's not what I expected. I expected it to be more of a lighter weight foam, but the foam is like a thick foam. Mm. I don't like this foaming action of it. Yeah, I don't like this. This is confusing. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Try a little bit more. I think this is gimmicky more than effective. I think you have to put, like, get a lot. And then having to use a lot kind of I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, this is a no for me. As for me and my house, this is a no. I'm gonna pull out another uh Korean brand and I'll be right back. It feels like water, so I'm gonna go in instead with the sweet chef. Oat Milk Latte Cleanser, which is actually a Korean brand, but it's sold at Target and it's super affordable. And I love this stuff. Like, you only need a little. It's like a gel. It's so good. Like, wet a little bit, and it gets like this frothy. Oh, yeah, I love this. Love this stuff so much. Like. It's nice and gentle, but it gets the face clean. Highly, highly recommend it. And it's like $13. So affordable. Hey Siri, put on a timer for a minute. One minute, starting now. What I've been like doing is using a sponge like this as I remove it. Because it helps to get it off. Also doing a little bit of light. I don't want to say exfoliation, but I just like how it feels. My esthetician did this for my facial, and I just really enjoy that. So I've just been doing that too. Not every single night, but just sometimes, and I just love it. What I love about that Sweet Chef Cleanser is that it doesn't strip my skin. Like, my face is nice and clean but it still feels so freaking soft. Like, chef's kiss, so good. Oh. Now it's toner time. I have two toners here, and I didn't know which one to use, so I'm going to do both. I, I do that sometimes where I'm like, I kind of feel like I want two things, or you know, they offer different purposes. So I'm gonna first go in with the Propellus uh, Synergy Toner by CosRx. CosRx is already one of my favorite Asian beauty brands. Oh, this is nice and thick. And I usually don't put toners on a cotton pad. I, oh, wow, I feel so good. I feel like it's really wasteful. Like all of it just goes and soaks into the cotton pad. So I just prefer just putting it on my hands and applying it. Bro, this is so moisturizing. Wow. Wow. This is really optional, but I'm going to layer it with a second toner. This is the Essentry Green Tea Fresh Toner. Just because I'm pressed and I want to try it out. And some people layer toner, especially when sometimes people will do like a um, exfoliating toner and then a moisturizing one. Sometimes I just do two moisturizing ones. I feel like people say that this green tea one is more moisturizing. But the cost are acting comparison is like, whoa, you know, whoa. This was like fresh green tea, extreme like green tea. Oh, yes. 
now it's time for essence this is this is the whole thing y'all this is the whole thing you gotta be dedicated to it i mean you don't have to do as many steps but i enjoy this like just like how i enjoy so many steps with my natural hair i'm just an extra person so i typically like using the cosrx x advanced snail 96 mucin power essence i actually have a sample size of this but this was sent to me by Stalvana, so I have it and I'm grateful for it. So I'm not going to go into this, especially because I have a smaller one. But also because I'm pressed to try the Misha Time Revolution, which is supposed to be a dupe for SK2. So, obviously I want to try it. Boom. This is okay. I have nothing to compare it to. Um, in terms of the moisture, I definitely prefer the, the snail mucin, but I have it, so I'll use it. Now it's time for the treatment step. I was torn between the TM Vita B3 Source, which is basically a combination of niacinamide and arbutin, which are used to treat uneven skin tone, helps to remove dark marks. Like, I have a crazy dark mark right here. I didn't pick this pimple but it just said it will leave a mark like I like scar and get marks really easily and this is from acids we'll talk about that in a different video but I also have this centella unscented serum by Perito which is which also contains niacinamide ceramides peptides so I'm kind of torn I was gonna do the TM but I'm gonna try this centella the the serum because it seems like it has like a jelly texture which is why i like on my face so let's try that yeah 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 it has like a nice jelly consistency yeah this is, oh yes great choice sheree great choice now let's go into my moisturizer. I'll be using the Inuik Centella Calming Gel Cream. Let's try this out. Oh, it's a real gel. So it looks more jelly than creamy. This is like clear. I guess Centella has a certain scent. All the Centella kind of smell like this. Oh, this feels lovely. Oh yeah, calming. Because of my water in Jersey, I've never had this issue in St. Thomas. It can go, especially now, it can just make my skin feel kind of like itchy and sensitive. But this just like calmed everything down. I love this. Oh wow, I love this. Now I'm going to seal in all of that moisture, like the LOC, or the LCO method, with the uh, Wonder Who Huru black rice facial oil and I also always use facial oils every night but sometimes I do oh, this one has a strong scent I have to look online to see if there's fragrance because there's definitely like a masculine scent oh this is giving the girls radiance oh I like how that looks like how that looks and then lastly is the Laneige lip sleeping mask which everyone loves <laughs> so let's try her this is in the berry scent this is sick like honey I like that let's see why y'all like that that's it <laughs> That is my nighttime skin routine, trying new products situation. Um, let's talk about standout products. I will definitely say the Hamish All Clean Balm. It's a yes. This is an instant staple. Definitely going to be continuing to use this. I really, really, really do like this. Like, it melts the makeup off. I feel like it really does clean my skin while also leaving it feeling really soft. So this is definitely, this is definitely a yes. This uh, CosRx Propeller Synergy Toner. The answer is yes. Love how this feels on my skin. Like, so freaking moisturizing. It just like brought the moisture 
right into my face like 10 out of 10 the centella unscented serum like i just love how calming this is to my skin and i just love the jelly texture like like when i think about textures that i like on my face i love a jelly texture like this feels so good. I really do like this. The Inuix Centella Calming Gel Cream. The answer is yes. Like, I love a jelly texture. Like, just give me a jelly texture and I'm gonna be like, yeah, duh, I love it. So that's kind of unfair because the texture just won me over. Same thing with the facial oil. I just love the glow that they give my skin. I feel like my skin looks nice and radiant without looking greasy. But that is my review trying Korean skincare in an entire routine for the first time ever. Let me know what are your favorite Korean skincare products down below. I would love to know, especially for dark, melanated skin. That's it for now. Thanks for getting on ready with me. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.